Fox Carolina First Alert Weather Day Update. Well, this week is going to bring an active pattern. Each day we'll have a chance for pop up showers and storms like what we're seeing now, but it's all going to peak on Thursday. Gusty, damaging winds, possible heavy rain, and lightning potential really each day, but Thursday will bring the widespread threat. And today we've seen a couple of heavy showers pop up and become intensely strong through Oconee County and Pickens County. And we now we've got a new cell that's starting to move into the southern part of Oconee County. But good number of lightning strikes associated with these, some new ones. New you're easily and pickens right now. I've been watching the wind with this cell that has been severe, no longer uh, considered severe anymore, but winds at about 30 miles an hour as this uh, uh, cell continues to push into Pickens County away from Salem. So enough to certainly blow things around. We're not seeing a lot of damaging wind with these right now, uh, but I do have a track on it to give you an idea of when some of this rain could at least uh, approach spots like Greenville in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Roper Mountain Science Center getting on top of easily as well uh, six miles so watch out there for some heavy downpour some brief wind gusts and then we've got this new cell that's popped up pretty quickly near oakway between tacoba and oakway and it's going to be drifting closer to Clemson. So that's what we have going on on radar right now. Expecting that activity to diminish in intensity overnight tonight, and then we'll be looking ahead to a dry and actually pleasant start tomorrow. A little humid temperatures in the 60s, and then we warm mid upper 80s by the afternoon on Tuesday. So it's going to have a summer feel and we'll get those pop up showers and storms, but they won't be everywhere. Uh, we'll keep that humidity up. In fact, through Thursday, but look at how it crashes into the weekend. It's going to feel really nice Friday and Saturday once a front moves through. So here's that activity at 6 p.m. tonight. Still some heavy downpours. Then it moves out. We still have a little bit of lingering activity in the mountains overnight, but that'll simmer down toward the morning. Afternoon, spotty showers and storms. This time east side of our area favored a bit more, but won't be everywhere. And then we go into Wednesday where we'll start the day dry and much of the day looks dry until this that's going to be moving in late Wednesday night, early Thursday, and that's what's prompting our first alert weather day, the widespread storm threat. So our next big thing, this is our long range model showing Thursday as we're going to get a secondary round of heavy rain into the afternoon and then into the evening and overnight will clear on out and then Friday actually looking pretty mild and will bring back the sunshine. So look ahead. We've got that first alert for Thursday and the difference between Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday is going to bring a chance for many of us to see storms. Uh, they'll be just spotty otherwise. Uh, by Friday and Saturday, though, looking much nicer. Highs in the mid 70s couldn't order up a much better forecast this time of year. We've got artist fear and so many big events uh, that are going on this time of year. Glad the weather can cooperate, but not cooperating so well with uh, Thursday's activities. A severe weather will be possible. And of course, we'll continue to monitor what's out there on radar right now. So stick with us. Now let's head.